Hey, I'm Steve Fisher. And I'm JJ Thomas, and you're watching Sports School. Whether you just want to learn how to ride the half pipe or step your game up, we're here to help you out. Snowboarding and half pipes go hand in hand, from the very first hand dug half pipes to the modern day 22 footer. Half pipes can be intimidating at first, but if you take it one step at a time, you can learn the right way and have a lot of fun doing it. Today, we're going to be teaching you how to ride the half pipe. We're going to teach you the basics from dropping in to catching your first airs to even doing advanced tricks. All right, let's get started with dropping in. All right, the first step to getting into the half pipe is all about the drop in. With the drop in, you want to start small. Pick your spot on the wall where you're going to enter the half pipe, go slow, and then keep your knees bent and a strong back, and then keep your line going across the flat bottom. Dropping in backside is a little bit more difficult than on your toes. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to roll in with as much speed as you're comfortable with to start, and you're going to drop in with just a little bit of pressure on your heel edge. And you're going to follow that transition all the way through to the next wall. The falling leaf is a great way to start out. The falling leaf is when you stay on one edge throughout the whole time in the half pipe. You're going to drop in on your toe edge go up the toe side wall, and then you're going to come down to fakie. All the while, you're going to be switching and looking whichever way you're going. And once you've done the falling leaf on your toes, you're going to switch to your heels. So you get the falling leaf on both edges all the way down the half pipe. Once you feel like you have the falling leaf mastered, the next step is called the hop turn. You're going to want to drop in with a little more speed, keep your line across the flat bottom, and this time when you go up the wall, instead of coming down on the same edge, you just turn slightly and then you go to your heel edge. Up your heel, keeping your same stance down the pipe than on your toe edge. All below the lip, but building up to start to catch air. Now that you've mastered the hop turn, now you get to do it a lot faster. You're going to drop in with a little more speed and you're going to try to work as hard as you can to get to the top of the lip without going out. You're going to still do the hop turn, you know, changing from toe side to heel side on either wall, and you're just going to do it faster until you feel comfortable enough to get out of the half pipe. We just took you through the basics, now moving on to straight airs. I'm JJ Thomas. And I'm Steve Fisher, and you're watching Sports School. Cool. 